Hi guys, in this video I just want to quickly show you how I scan in those positive terms and negative terms separately into R. I've placed the links here and I referred to them in the previous video where we were doing some text mining on a single document and we were performing sentiment analysis on the text. So we needed these positive terms and these negative terms. I uh, realized that I didn't go slow enough maybe in that part to show you how I got those terms. So first off, open up your browser, place those links okay, that I've given you. There's two. So first I'm looking at the positives. This whole section are just comments giving credit to Ming Hing Hu, Bing Liu, and maybe even Jun Sheng Cheng. So let's give credit to these people. They've compiled this list of positive terms. There's about 2,000 of them. Okay. All you need to do is select all, copy this, open up Notepad or any kind of simple text editor, paste that in, and then do a file save, and save this into your working directory. Wherever your working directory is, if you forgot, that's where it is for me. I'm going to place this file and into this folder. Okay? And I'm going to place it. I'm going to make sure I save it as a .txt file. Then when I come back into R, I'm going to scan and wherever that file is. So for me, it's uh, I called it I did this previously, I called it positive words. It's going to be a character vector. And it's got comments. So I want to specify that the terms don't actually, the words I'm interested in uh, don't start. Don't start actually importing anything until after the comments which are hugged with these semicolons. So if I do this, I'm going to get the all those terms. Here we go. So see 2,000 and like six of them and here they are. Okay. All the positive terms. Now I might want to actually uh, name that like something like positive words like I did in that previous tutorial. Okay. And it, re it read in 2006. In fact, if I look at the some of the properties of this It's a character vector with this length. And here are the first few elements. Okay. Now I want to do the same thing with the negative terms. So take that link in the description, paste that into your browser, and here we have the negative terms. Okay. Copy and paste all this into a text editor, save it as a .txt file. Although there's other ways to do all this, by the way. You can download this directly from a link as well. Um, this is the we're trying not you know we're trying not to kind of be exhaustive but I want to give you one way that that will work for you okay and then you can venture off into other directions so then I go back into I save the document make sure I put it into my working directory again and then I will import them it's got the same structure in other words it's got the comments separated by or or hugged by the semicolon, so I need to specify that. Negative words, and maybe I'll call these negative words. So that'll be my name for it. So I have positive words and negative words. A lot more negative, incidentally. Okay? And once I have these in, now you could go back if you got stuck in that part of that video where I was doing the sentiment score. So I started doing match here. So I had a text bag of words. So I had, a, I had a document that I imported, I cleaned up, and I created a bag of terms. Uh, and then I used the match function to see how many of these uh, were positive words. So I put my text bag, and then let's do positive first, right? And then I could do the same thing for negative. OK. 
Okay. There were no negative words. Okay. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, positive terms. But uh, we don't need to do that manually. We can do a sum and then do is. So this I did in the previous video, so I just want to kind of maybe continue from where I left off there. To sh so you don't have to maybe go back and watch that. So that's why I'm going quick here. So I had six positive terms, zero negative. I used match. I used is and a. Actually, I negated it with the with the exclamation, and then I summed. Okay, and I did the same thing for negative. And then I took the difference of this, and I got a sentiment score. So this indicates that this was a this article had a positive sentiment. This becomes much more interesting when you have an entire corpus of documents and you want to on a particular topic and you want to see what the sentiment is on that topic. So not just using one article but using hundreds if not thousands, you will get a really good idea of what people's sentiment is for a particular issue or topic. Okay? So this kind of hopefully fills in what I kind of left out in the in the previous videos. Okay. Till next time, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.